Okay, quick video here uh, on Zebra printers. Um, just wanted to go over some things. Uh, we get involved pretty heavily with Zebra printers as, long, as well as other um, brands that we have been promoting. Um, so just want to show you that if you have an Ethernet connected thermal printer, in this case I'm going to go over for a Zebra printer, uh, there's usually a web interface for the networkable printers. Um, so what you do in this case with Zebra is you just go to the IP address of your printer and um, I use Angry IP Scanner to be able to identify uh, what IP address my Zebra printer has taken on the network um, through DHCP so um, I can go over that uh, if anyone has any questions on that but quickly going to the IP address of my Zebra printer uh, you can see the uh, web server that's inside the Zebra printer comes up um, and there's various things that you can change. You can look at the printer's configuration. Um, you can get into, uh, you can view and modify the settings. Um, if there's a password that comes up, you the password, the, the, the generic password is 1234. Uh, that's not a big secret that's in the manual. Um, so you can go in here, uh, you can change, you know, many of the configuration parameters in the Zebra printer. Um, you can set up alerts to get uh, SMTP type of alerts like emails uh, if you're going to have like some sort of issue if it's out of labels or something like that. Um, you can get in and, and you can do some, you know, you can feed the printer, you know, just to make sure that it's communicating. Um, let's see, I'm trying to get to the page here where you can view and modify the printer settings. Um, so you can get in, uh, you know, to the some of the general things here, for example, you could change the darkness, the type of print mode that it's going to use, the print speed uh, to speed it up. Um, so very useful, very quick and easy to get to. Um, sort of a semi-obvious video here, but for those of you that are sourcing, getting videos, I mean getting Zebra printers, you know, through all kinds of different means, uh, you know, I highly recommend getting the network interface whenever you can. Uh, and then get in here and make sure the printer's there and responding and set up some alerts. Uh, you can set up your printer um, and do lots of things to just make sure it's alive and well on the printer uh, interface that's available over the net over the network.